Assalamu alaikum and good day to all of you. In this slide, we will go through for an introduction of the subject Ecotourism TTD 3163 offered to Diploma in Tourism Management students of semester 5. This is the slide content of this presentation. First, I will explain to you what is the cost nature of this subject, followed by I will explain to all of you what is ecotourism is all about. Next, I will explain to you the cost learning outcome, the topics, and lastly, the assessments. We begin with the cost nature of this subject. Let's begin in the middle. As you can see in the first slide, the name of this subject is ecotourism. Then, beginning from the top in clockwise, the code of this subject is TTD3163. Please memorize this code to make it easier for you to look at the timetable and later in your study. Now, this subject is a major subject. What does it mean by major subject? Well, it is compulsory for you to complete this subject in order to graduate. In other words, this is a semester 5 subject. If you fail this subject, there will be no industrial training for you in the next semester. This subject value for 3 credits and I will see all of you through online classes and assessment for 4 hours per week for 14 weeks. Please refer to your timetable when the class will be online. And lastly, as I said in the first slide, this subject is offered to semester 5 students of Diploma in Tourism Management. Okay now, what is ecotourism? In the definition, Travelling as environmentally sustainably manner. There are two main words there, environment and sustainable. Environment, as we all know, is the nature that is around us, which is created by God and easily get polluted. Sustainable means it remains viable for a period of time. This involves our attitude, discipline and concept on how to turn the nature into a tourism product while keeping it maintained for a period of time. The cost learning outcome for this subject. What is cost learning outcome or CLO? Cost learning outcome is what you will have to learn after you complete this subject. There are four CLO in this subject. CLO 1, define ecotourism and understand how it differs from and overlap with other forms of nature-based tourism. CLO2 explain market segmentation and marketing issues that are relevant to ecotourism management. CLO3 identify the critical role of protected area in accommodating ecotourism and the potential roles of other venue. CLO4 discuss the environmental and social cultural and economic impact of ecotourism and the circumstances under which this impact are most likely to occur. These are the topics for this subject, which comprises of 8 main topics. Lastly, the most important area in this subject, the assessments. There are basically 4 types of ongoing assessments throughout this subject. First, there will be quizzes. These quizzes normally comprise of questions for a certain topic or area. Normally, it will be conducted 4 times and the marks allocated total is 20% out of all assessments. And then, there is the test. To make it easier for you to understand, test is like the combination of two quizzes and cover almost half of the topics that you will be learning inside the class. There will be two tests and it comprises of 20%. The assignment for this subject comprises of 10% of the total assessment. This assignment normally conducted in groups or individuals. Lastly, the final examination. This is the biggest percentage out of all assessments. It comprises of 50% or half of the total assessments. Final examination normally covers all of the topics in the subject and will be conducted at the end of your semester. To those who has forgotten about me or can't remember how handsome I am. So that's all. Don't forget to join the class in the Google Classroom. And good luck. I will see you in the class. Goodbye.